So I'll probably just play him a stop shot on the one, a little bit of a roll forward on the two, and then play the three in the side and off the rail. I'll either come, see it'd be perfect if I just stop it on the two ball and then I play off of the three and just roll it up table a little bit for the four and then I can just play down and the eight in the corner. Yeah, that's a perfect run. Okay. All right, let's see if we can execute now. <laughs> That was a good run. <laughs> I'm gonna shoot the one in the side, okay. and I'm gonna stop it, maybe just a tiny bit of draw. Okay. Shoot the two down here, and if I'm straight on, I'll stop it here, or draw it just a tiny bit, so that I can get the cue ball in this area to shoot the three down there, and play off the rail, cross table for the four down here, and then the eight. Um, if I'm not quite on, like if I just kill it, then what I might do is play off this rail, and back for the three in the seam, and then run out like I just said. Okay. And another way to do it would be to uh, put this here and shoot the one and stop it, right? Mm -hmm. And then you could stop it here, and then you stop it here. And now you have a little angle just to come back to the eight ball. Oh, right. I'm, I'm going in order. Oh, you're doing it in yeah. order. Yeah, I'm doing nine ball. Oh, you're, you're, playing, you're playing eight ball. Yeah, order. right, right, okay. <laughs> As you know it's the hard Yeah, yeah, I got stuck in that. Yeah, no, that's much easier. Well, you, okay, then you would have figured that out then. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, so I'll just stop, 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 off the rail, and then the eight. Yeah. Yeah, you're making it tough on yourself. Well, like I said, I forgot we were doing an eight ball. I still could have done it. You could have done that, yeah. <laughs> Oops. Foul. I'm sorry? The wall got you there. Yeah, a little bit. But Otherwise it would have been a perfect stop. Well, I was at a little tiny bit of an angle, so I kind of thought that I'd play it like that. Oops. Yeah, that had a, quite a bit of low on it. Okay. And uh, so when you shot the cube, you were hitting that about tip below center? Okay. I mean, is that what you were doing? Um, I, I only wanted like a quarter tip below. Okay. Right here. So this time, take away some of that power and just pull the stick back more. Okay. There she go. Okay. So you took away the power, you just stroked it. Yeah. Because like I said, once you start thinking power, things break down. So it's just a nice smooth tempo all the way through. 
There you go. Okay. That's money. All right. So you got that eight. <clears throat> so I'm going to play the four in the corner. I'm going to play a four in the corner with a stop, five in the side with a stop, um, the seven in the side with a little bit of roll, the three in the corner with a stop, and then the eight in the corner. That's pretty good. So you're going to stop here on the four, mm -hmm. get the five. Yeah, and four, five, seven with a little bit of a roll, and then the three down there with a stop, and then probably roll four a little bit, and then have a shot on the eight. Yeah, and if you roll forward just about a ball here, mm -hmm. uh, you, do, you definitely want an angle on the three ball. Because if you stop it here, you're going to be on the 50 yard line with the eight ball. So you'd have to roll down this way. Okay. So your speed control has to be good. If you end up rolling too far, things get a little tricky. Well, I'm thinking that because, because I'll be about here, I'll have this angle. So if I do a stop shot, the cue ball should end up right there. And then that'll give me a bit of an angle where I can either play off this rail for the side pocket, or if I come up short, I can shoot it down there. Yeah, and at this angle here, I think that might be a little too much angle to try and hold it. Okay. Yeah, that's going to roll it a bit. So what you may want to do Maybe is, roll is, is just use the roll okay. to come down this way, then mm -hmm. on the side. Okay. And then once you have the side, you can just roll forward and they fall in the side pocket over here. Okay. So that's not a bad deal. You can stop, stop. Shoot the seven ball and just roll down here. And this gives you a lot of options once you're on the three ball in the side pocket. I could play the three first off the three, five down here, and then the four, seven, and the eight. Well, I, but if you look at this pattern, this pattern is already two stops. Right. So the chance of something go, going wrong is minimized because mm -hmm. your first two shots are stop shots. Here you have an angle to roll down to the side. Right. Well, so, that's why I wanted to do the four first, was because I. Yeah, did. you're right. The four definitely, I think, is the first shot. Less mileage. <laughs> and you probably have to put it right about here. Then you can do almost a stop shot in the five, shoot the seven ball, and just roll down this way. Okay. So the only shot you're going to have that requires a little bit of speed control is getting from the 7 to the 3. Okay. So now before you shoot this, you have to kind of give yourself, you just don't want to just step up and shoot it. You want to find a line that goes from like the second diamond to the side. And you kind of want to get near that line. Okay. And you have a nice little angle where your cue ball is going to be going that way anyway. And when you have an angle like that, you really don't have to add any extra energy to it. I mean, the, the angle itself would have taken you where you need it to be. Okay. So we can shoot that again. We'll set this back up. This is almost pocket speed. You don't need to add any, any anything extra to the cue ball. Okay. Oh man, that was nice. <laughs> yeah, I got lucky. <laughs> oh, you hit that ball good. So you can roll forward then, right on this shot. Yeah. Okay.
So <clears throat> probably shoot the five, stop it. The three, stop it. The seven, stop it. The four, stop it. And then the eight down there. The four down here. See the five, the three, the seven, the four, and the eight. Yeah. Um, it looks like so we can we got that. If you can kill the keyboard here, like you said, here, this is almost a stop shot here because your keyboard is going to be here. Even though you're not going to be straight in, mm -hmm. you can still hold the keyboard right here. Okay. You're going to be right here. And then once you're here, you have a low angle to come off the rail and come right there. Okay. That's a good pattern, yeah. That'll work? Yeah, that'll work. Now on this shot here, if you end up with too much angle, like what you did, mm -hmm. then always look at your options. I mean, here you could have just, um, actually we'll have you shoot the four ball. Okay. So let's say you have too much angle. You know, ideally you want to be around here and you just go like that, right? Right. But if you end up with too much angle, now we're going to be doing something a little bit different. This time we're going to be doing low, low center, with just a uh, half a tip of left. Okay. And what we're going to do is we're going to come off here and here. And it's not power, you just want to put a little bit more stick into it. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So always, if you get a weird angle, always look at all your options. There you go. So now you're starting to figure it out. It's usually a good idea to start backwards. Figure out the ball before the eight. Okay. Figure out the ball to get on the ball before the eight. That makes more sense because I'm starting at the bottom and working my way up. <laughs> yeah. So in that case, then I probably want to start with the two. Well, actually, I'll probably start with the seven because I can just stop it. Yeah. Yeah, I'll shoot that seven See, first. That's basically, you just figured out the pattern. Okay. So you're going to shoot the seven. Yeah, stop it. Two, two stop. stop. You could probably stop, right? And just roll here like that. Right. Stop, stop. Five ball corner, four ball corner. Okay. Yeah, that makes things easier because, like I said, I, I, I was, in, I was going to start with the four first because I was like, well, I can go four, you know. But that makes more sense. It gets real confusing. Start it? with the eight ball and then. Yeah. If you start from the beginning, it gets real confusing. Okay. Yeah, extremely, because I'm still lost and <laughs> trying to catch up with it, catch my breath. That's all right. That's perfect. So now this one, if you look at the shot here, on these shots you always want to try and roll it if you can. Okay. 
Okay. So if you can roll this ball and have it come toward the three ball, that's ideal. Okay, so I should use the, the energy shot, the, the roll? You want to use a little bit of uh, above center to keep it rolling. And what you want to do is use a hair of left, but not much. And what happens is that left will bring it more toward the three ball. Okay, so we'll set up high here. High, and then just a tiny left. Nice shot. Thank you. So, and now I'll shoot the three and the six. Where you can move the cue ball. <laughs> you can move the cue ball more, but oh, you still got it, even with the wall. So I'm gonna. I'm thinking I'll start with the three. Uh huh. Stop shot. The five. Stop shot. Uh huh. The four and come off. Yeah, so the four, then the six. The six. <clears throat> and then I would want a little bit of an angle. So if I could come off of the four ball. stop it in this area <clears throat> then I can come off the six and off the rail for the two and then the one I want an angle for the one so I can come off the rail play across the table and then either play the seven will go in this pocket but I'll either come off the rail and up table for the eight down here or come off the table for the eight in that corner down there yeah you definitely want to play the eight ball in this corner okay and if you were to stop the cue ball here uh -huh. This is just oh, a simple right, right, right. center high. So you don't need to travel over here. Okay. This is center high. So this is your key ball, right? Yes. This is the ball before the key ball. Okay. And ideally you want to end up straight in on the one ball if you can. Okay. So then we look at back in the beginning over here at these balls. Now a lot of times the balls will connect. This is one of those cases where if you shot the two ball, then shot the three, then shot the six, and you have a little angle to come this way. Then you have the four. Now you have the five, now you're straight down the one. You can stop it, shoot the seven, and come back up. So here you have the two, three, six, four, five, one, seven. Earthquake and oh crap. And then it's settling funny on the carpet. And you can move it. Go ahead and just motor a little bit. Okay, yeah, that's fine.
Nice shot. Thank you. That's all right, because now what you can do is you can shoot the five and go into the ten. And use okay. the ten to stop the cue. Yeah, because after you said that, I chickened out and. They better move it. So you're just going to roll this in to center high. Okay. Nice shot. Now you shot that a little bit harder. Okay. All you have to do is just roll it in. Mm -hmm. You had a little bit extra. I guess it will make that work. I don't know. Let me try. Oh. You can play it off the rail. That, yeah, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> I just want to see if I can do it. Do you mind? Oh, go ahead. I'm probably going to suck on myself at a 10, though. I think I can do it. Nice shot. There's just this nice little stun right up here. Now you have to be, you, you might run into a danger zone here. Yeah, I think I went too far. Uh, but no, you're alright. Uh, you just have to be aware that once you miss your spot, you really got to refocus and go, well, if I end up here, this is pretty bad. Because this means you're going to have to shoot the eight ball down there. Right. You end up with that much angle. So what you can e either do is try and shoot and come up near the nine ball. Okay. Yeah, when I got down there before you said something, I was thinking about coming off the rail. Because I thought even if I come into the nine ball, it's still going to kick me out enough that I should be okay. Yeah, because I was going to shoot low, low, and I touch left. Yeah, and you can almost stun it into the nine ball because this is the angle you probably need right here, right where the nine ball is. Okay. So you can actually come this way into it. move the cue ball that far. So now your, your ideal position shot isn't like right here. You want to end up coming down here if you can. Finally. Nice. 
Yeah, basically you're trying to, from there you're trying to end up over here. Okay. For the nine ball. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. That's still pretty good. You're holding it. That's the main thing you want to hold. You don't want to roll forward toward the rail. Wow. There we go. It didn't go anywhere. That's, that was nice. Change it.